let's create a static slider by revolution slider wordpress plugin so to do this i hope you already know how to install and activate the revolution plugin and then you are in this place by clicking revolution slider overview just click on new blank mode then just quit guide and you can set setting yeah you can do the setting of your revolution slider uh, about the height and with things for different devices so for me i am making it 700 in height for the desktop and for laptop it's okay for tablet it's okay and for mobile phone let's make it 371 yep and then uh now it's time to create the first slider we'll create a single slider first and then from that slider we'll import the layers on our global layer here okay so yeah uh, let's upload a photo to create the first slider sorry on the ba uh, background just choose the image media library upload files select files i kept my files here so this is the file i want to upload then insert the file will be here you can make position center or left right top anything whatever you want you wish to okay so yeah <coughs> now at first i want to add a overlay layer here so to do this just hover over the add layer then shape and this is the overlay that I want to make it full screen so just click over the layer then style sorry style and uh, positions I want to make it centerize and also it's skin and cover okay you can change the colors by clicking here style whatever the color you wish to use you can do it uh, let me make it 30 percent then just checked and now i want to add a title uh, basically i am just uh, recreating this slider with revolution slider so this is the title that i want to use on my slider so i hover over add slider then text and this is the headline i want to use uh, it will give you some option if you wish to use let's choose this one for me new layer then from here on the content tab just paste your text that you wish to write here and for me i'm using a text which is leto let's use leto i like leto and poppins both but for this slider i'm using leto and uh, then on the next slider let's add another text let's choose this format and i want this text as the paragraph text actually so click over it close it content and write it here okay so uh, let's move it here and next to you one button right so i hover over here and let's choose this button let's select a button that you wish to use for me i want to use this one so for the button text i want to use about us okay about us So I want all of them to be centerized and then I'll move them one by one. Mm. Okay. Okay. And 
them for all of them I want to start from let's collect all of them and uh, for left let's make it 100 pixel or maybe we can do 140 50 let's do it and now let's move it to the top the header I mean the main title and for the button let's just use your arrow key from your computer to move them so I want to make it a little bit bigger like currently it's 14 pixel it was so let's make it 35 36 actually and the pixels should be 40 minimum and I want to make it a little bit bolder okay and uh, let's give it a animation so if I click the first one I have to click on animation then I want to make it let's slide transition slide from top and same for this one as well slide from top and same for the next one as well slide from top and the last uh, the first shape that we added we don't want any slide I mean any animation so to do this just choose simple transition and no animation that's it so animation has been added now we want to make it one after one so to do this the first one I want to start from one second and for the second one I want to make it 400 so it will be 300 second I mean three seconds gap for every one every of the slider 40 and then it should be 700 and yeah that's it now we, we preview this slider we'll see the animation comes one after one that's it and now it's the time to import static slider from this regular slider to global to global layer so to do this let's save it again just to make sure I go on the global global layer and now I want to import them right so to do this just hover over here then click on import layers we want to import it from our slider slider and we want to import everything like shape the first title then second title and the button as well so just click after select just click import selected layer and all of them will be here okay so our global layer has been created now if we go to the first slider we have to remove this text because we have this text already on our global layer right and also we don't want to use the shape which is background overlay so just click save now this is our first slider the first image and we want to add another image let's just duplicate it and we want to click on the gear icon then from the media library just choose or upload a new image that you wish to use for me let's upload this one then insert it the photo has been replaced and then just click on save so we already created our slider now let's try to show it on our page so to do this let me just visit my home page this page doesn't have anything let's add a slider so currently i am using elementor plugin to create my website so i just open the editing page then i click here and i want to make my section full width without no gap and then i just
just search for the revelation slider you can use revelation slider by using short code from here like if you go to the gear icon then you have to click on this title icon and you can use this short code anywhere to show your slider but for me i am just using this this is the slider I want to use it's already here right now if I update it and view the page I will see the slider has been added see this is the slider and if the background image change the text keep remains here so yeah that's how you can create a revelation slider that is static with global layer thanks for watching